Hey, what's going on guys? It's Whiskey. Now with face cam on YouTube videos for some reason. I don't know why. We're going to check it out. But welcome to the first episode of Season 3 or Map 3 Cosmic Sky Omega. And you can see me default dancing in the background right here because I am super excited for today's video and everything. And it's going to be a change of what we're used to here on Cosmic. Usually all my Cosmic content videos for YouTube are produced while I'm not streaming or anything like that. Today though, with it being the release, I wanted to try out something new. We are going to be streaming and recording this all at the same time. And these videos are going to be a little bit more uncut, uncensored, essentially. I mean, still censored because PG channel, you know, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, these are going to be kind of more uncut videos. There will be some stuff cut out. Um, but for the most part, it's going to be me hanging out, going through stuff for this first day, walking you through everything, walking myself through it because I'm a bot and I probably forgot how to even build a cobblestone generator. But yeah, fight me, whatever. Uh, so we're going to get into that. We're going to go through everything like that. And it's going to be kind of more of an experience. So if you do want to watch these videos live, remember, you can head on over to twitch.tv slash whiskey bravo. Uh, I stream there. I, I don't have a schedule yet. I'm kind of in the process of moving into my own place again. So we probably are going to uh, have a set schedule here in a couple weeks. But for right now, just go and turn on notifications. So you know when I post new videos. But Without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So the first thing we need to do now that we are here on the planet, let's just take a look here. We got nearly 5K viewers right here. 5K viewers, or not viewers. Guys, I'm a bot. Chat, make fun of me, it's okay. Uh, 5K players on the server right now. I wish we had 5K viewers, that'd be actually pretty dope. But we have 5K players on the server right now. But the first thing, if you have not been on here yet and you are looking to create your own island and to get into things, first thing you're gonna need to do is you need to go slash team and you need to declare your allegiance to either the red team or the blue team. Now the red team, Sky Red, has Vic, has Pizza, Zarek, Captain Sparkles, Speedy, and Sidearms. And right now, 65% of players that have joined prisons are on the red team. Now, for the blue team, you have Wolfles, Rob as the captain. You got John Sandman, Rizzo, TBNR Frags, Jerome, and then Muzelk. Kind of more of a meme squad, if you ask me. You know, it might be a team that's like not going to be the more experienced Minecraft players and stuff like that. Uh, Preston might quit after episode two. You don't know what's going to happen, but... Me being loyal to Cosmic and also me loving everything John Sandman produces. Uh, we're going to go with the blue team today. So for today, we are actually going to be bleeding blue and joining the blue team. And uh, now that we have that established, we can actually go to IS Create and create our own island. <laughs> chat's going shots fired yeah i'm sorry chat sorry it just had to be done all right so the uh the islands are the same as the past three seasons and as the beta you have the federation the pirates and cult of yujiki so again you have like the pvp island you have the selling slash farming resource island and then you have the federation which is your xp grinding island so depending on what you're wanting to do for your island and for you know everything and all that kind of stuff. You gotta get a look into this and see what exactly you want. Me being a solo island where I'm going to have to do everything myself on the island, meaning like the farming and selling and all that, I'm going to go with Space Pirates just because it's going to give me more of a positive yield on that kind of stuff. So now that we have our island here, and as we came into the new server, you actually saw it pop up on the screen there. I do have something in my pv that i need to confirm and uh twitch chat should be kind of excited about this because uh right now in twitch chat we're doing a giveaway for one of these loot boxes here uh at the end of the stream somebody is going to get picked but not only that guys if you want i guess since it is the start of the season we're gonna do another giveaway for the youtube channel so if you guys are watching this video right now and you know it i need you in the comments down below to comment your ign as well as hashtag team red or hashtag team blue to show who you are supporting in this season and uh i will give this a week so next friday we'll pick or next thursday actually 
will pick um, the winner and yeah, they will get a nice free loot box for just commenting on a video. So yeah. But um, so with this week's loot box for the reset, uh, we actually have kind of a nice loot box here. It is the loot box Omega and the things you can get from it. We're actually not going to look at it like that. We're going to come in here to slash loot box and look at it this way. Give this a right click. You can see we got some skill to skill token shards. We have a rank kit at level seven, uh, some socketed gear, auto planters, more gear, a katana. You know, there's kind of a bit here. Like um, the main things that we're going to be wanting are these pets. So you got the minor map pet. You got the fisherman Fred pet, the XP bunny, which is OP Slayer Sam. And then the Omega mask from this as well. As well, you guys can get a second rank from these things. Uh, a farmer Bob pet a top rank uh, there's there's a lot in here where there's a lot but guys right now on the service store there is a sale going on to where you can buy the three loot box pack and when you do you actually get the omega mask and the loot llama pet for free so the omega mask gives you a plus five sell prices and a 1.25 percent xp mob xp boost or whatever so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna put the omega mask on and that just kind of looks a little weird but we also have this little loot llama pet that we can go ahead and claim and not not a bad not a bad first roll not a bad first roll we have one fragment of the wasteland map so uh that actually you know let's take a look here real quick and sort our pv uh are there any on AH yet? No, it doesn't look like it. That's uh, that's kind of a big grab there. It's kind of a big grab there. But we're going to go ahead. I'm going to put one of these in my PV just so I don't uh, forget that I have it and accidentally open it and have to buy some more to do the giveaway. But guys, we're going to go ahead and open this first one here. And uh, let's see what we can get here. Usually on Sky, I do have terrible luck when it comes to loot boxes. Prisons is good luck. Sky's not so much. So let's see what we can actually get. So it looks like we have the farming recipe for carrots, which is huge. Definitely need that. We have some skill token shards. Uh, we have five rabbit spawners and then we got the space visor. There we go. So we have that and we can actually even equip that. I thought, no, maybe not. Maybe it can't be. There we go. So now we can wear our chain helmet while having the Omega mask actually online. And then we have a farming increase. So there we go. That is our first one. Now for the second one, let's see what it is actually going to be. Here we go. Here we go. And okay. Some repair scrolls, XP, chicken spawners, 10 K. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh just go ahead and take that. Uh, so 10 or five more rabbit spawners, two chicken spawners. Okay, not not terrible, actually, not terrible. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll throw all of this into our PV there because the thing we need to do next besides, actually, I guess we need to do our skills first. I do, since I've played three seasons of this now, I have all my skill tokens unlocked, meaning I can just fly through all of this and claim all of them uh, to where the main important thing we get this ability to slash fly on the island. So if you guys are new to Cosmic Sky and you have never played before, uh, you do have to have a rank in order to fly originally on your island. You can buy it on later down the road, or you can get a charge orb, not a charge orb, a flight orb um, that has charges on it, and then it like eventually puts out because you use it too much. But if you do have fourth rank or higher, uh, you can unlock fly on your island, but you have to go in, you get these skill tokens, you have to come in and you have to unlock them in the right perks. So if you're wanting fly on your islands, make sure you spend those four skill tokens on your island skills and come in and get that. So where you can do slash fly, if I can spell it right, and then you can fly around your island. But now comes a time that we just we got to get rid of this. This is uh, yeah, this does not. I mean, it, it looks fine. Like, don't get me wrong. It looks fine. But it's it's not something we can work with. We got to have efficiency here. So I think it's time for us to go ahead and tear this all down. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So we are back and I forgot that I actually had this still on my head. Um, so yeah, it's okay. But uh, we have gone ahead. We have cleared out all of the island and we have gone ahead and build a temporary makeshift 
uh, work spot for everything we're going to need a, to be able to build. Um, so we have an area over here. Also, Maze and Sauce, uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um, so over in this area, we do have uh, an area for our trees. We have the coarse dirt down. We're going to have to actually get that up and running uh, and till it a couple times just so we can place trees there. We have some dirt here for our farms that we're going to be working on. We have an area over here for our cobblestone nodes and uh, wood nodes, all that kind of stuff. And then over here, we'll have some areas for our spawners. So I think what needs to happen next is I'm going to go ahead. We're going to place all of this into our uh, PV4. I know it's just all getting thrown everywhere, but we're going to go into our kit and we are going to claim our starter kit. And that will give us one log node so we can come over here we can throw this log node down right there. Let that start farming up. We have two saplings, so we can come over to this side, take these two saplings. Oh, and we can just plant them right away. So that's that's great. I like it. Uh, and then, what else did it give us? It gave us a chest, so we can place that chest down right there. Claim our money note. And then over here, we're actually going to just break out some of these, just like that. And we are going to go to, I think it was our PV1, if I'm remembering correct. Yeah. So we're going to place down our rabbit spawners. Uh, that's chickens, not rabbits. We're going to place down our rabbit spawners. Uh, okay. Well, one of our rabbit spawners didn't get placed with the rest of them. So that's okay. That is, that's all right. But what we need to be doing now is we need to be working on getting our nodes up and running, getting our spawners up and running and killing said animals that spawn in. We need to be growing some trees because if we, if you're ever feeling lost about what you need to be doing on the server, you can always do IS challenges uh, and it will pull up a challenge list for your specific island. Now, when you do all these challenges, you actually get more rewards unlocked and a bunch of other stuff. Like there's some pretty nice stuff in some of these rewards. Like I think it was in last season, um, there was one of them here. It was like, and these might've all changed, but like, I think it was like bandit looter or something. Uh, if you completed that, you actually got like a carrot recipe. And so a lot of people were stuck not knowing how to do the carrot recipe. And yeah, they, uh, all they needed to do was they could have just done these challenges, but our first challenge that we need to be working on is planting five saplings. Then we have two already down. And the way I could speed this up is if I just go to shop, I can actually just buy two more here for, or three more here for $300 in total. We have a little bit of money to work with, so we can do that. The challenge is now done and completed. So that means if we go back to our challenges, uh, we can right click on this, left click on this, and actually get another log node that we can use over here as I fall to my death, uh, place that down. And now we have two log nodes that we can be working on. Now, as these are growing up, we can actually go and we can harvest them. When we break the wood down, they actually have a chance of dropping fragments for um, the log nodes. So once you get five fragments from mining the wood, you actually can then make another log node. Uh, our rabbits seem not to want to be... Uh, working which is kind of something i've been hearing has been going on a lot uh, but yeah it's it's okay it's okay um let's see so we have that to be working on we need to get some buckets because we need to be starting on our farming and getting that up and running so i'm gonna go ahead and just buy one bucket here we're going to place not on top we want to place it in there and come over to here grab another bucket of water Place this down. Now we have an infinite source that we can be working with and be going. There we are. Also, uh, <laughs> thank you uh, in the chat. I've kind of been ignoring you guys for a second. As Sorry. Uh, Red Boy, <laughs> Nutcrackers, Omega Powered, and for the follows. And then we have TTV Cookies with two one-bit cheers. Kappa, what's up? I also play Cosmic, and my name is Ash underscore Boy. Well, thank you. Um, welcome to the stream, guys. So now that we have this up and running, you guys can see we do have one of the trees here. And uh, I'm gonna actually going to go through the top because we want to save as many of those leaves as possible for them to drop more items for us. 
Uh, Whiskey, are you recruiting for your island? I am not. This is going to be a solo island that I'm working on by myself throughout the entire year. Okay. Um, so that happened. <laughs> Gotta remember not to break through that that fast. That's okay. But yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and break another one of these down. And you guys can see here, as I'm breaking these down, I am getting some fragments there. And I will show you that in just a second after I break another one of those dirt blocks because I can't control myself. Okay, dang, these are actually growing up pretty fast. I like it. We're going to go ahead and show you guys. So I have these log resource fragments that you get from breaking the wood down. Uh, five of these will give you a log resource node. You can take that, grab it up, and then run right over here and place that down. And then I can mine up these for the fragments. Now, you might be asking, or the scraps. So you might be asking yourself, Whiskey, why are you spending time trying to do that when you have the wood right over here? Um, that is a great question. And the reason that you have to do it this way and do it both, like kind of both, you will see that these wood scraps are resource scraps. And this wood plank that it does make is a resource item. Unlike the oak wood here, it does say cosmetic. So you cannot use it for crafting anything. Um, you actually, like, if you take it, you can't craft it into planks or anything like that. All you can basically do is use it for building purposes and for... Um, you used to be able to use it for fuel. And um, so, yeah, I, you might still be able to do that. Not 100% sure. They might changed it. But... So that's kind of why it's important that you're trying to get these scraps, make up more log resource nodes, and then um, turn those into, you know, fragments and all that kind of stuff. Make sure I'm grabbing all of these. Don't want them falling over the edge. There we go. Lumberjack has now been completed. And if we look at our challenges again, IS challenge... Nope, that's not what I wanted, but I can just get there this way. It's fine. Uh, we can actually get a stone axe as our reward. Uh, now, we need to gather 25 wood resource nodes. So, these wood resource nodes are, yeah, they're the ones that are already over there on the ground. So, that means we have a lot of this to do. So, I actually have a pickaxe or a regular axe now that I can use, and I just have to keep an eye on it because I do have slash fixed unlocked, meaning... I don't have to worry about it breaking, but I just need to pay attention to it. Um, is that all of it? It is. Okay, so we can just go ahead and break all these down. They have the same drop rates if you break them. I believe, at least that's what I was told in beta. And I believe them, and I think they lied to me. I cry. There we go. Perfect. And come down over here and chop down our next one. Let's see. There we go. And perfect. So now we got a bunch of those. Come over here. We're going to craft up four more of these guys. Throw them down here. Just in no order. And go ahead and harvest that. Now what we can do is come over to our nice little area over here. And we can just hoe this down. We have to do it twice since we're using coarse dirt because I'm cheap and I didn't want to buy any. Um, we can start... Okay, there we go. We can actually start planting stuff. So I do have seeds there as well. I should have some seeds somewhere in here. I know I picked up one seed at least. Uh, game? Where are you? Okay, there we go. So we do have seeds. Uh, seeds, I don't think you have to worry about them being cosmetic. I think it will still work. Yes, it still works, so we don't have to worry about that. Go ahead, and we'll place those down. We'll start letting that get growing and going, and we won't have to worry about anything. This still does not want to uh, spawn any chickens. Feels bad, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and throw our cosmetic wood, our resources, all that good stuff into here. That way I don't accidentally drop anything or do anything that I uh, would regret. But our main task is just getting all these resources. And that should be your guys' task first. You know, work on your challenges. 
work on getting your resource fragments set up and running, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's kind of crucial to being able to survive. Your first day needs to be a productive day where you're actually just going from, you know, uh, task to task, kind of multitasking, doing what you can when you can. So like running back and forth, having all these areas set up along your island so you can, you know, harvest these resource fragment scraps, uh, then run over. If your chickens are actually spawning, kill the chickens or the rabbits that spawn. Then come over here, see if your any trees have spawned up, cut those down, run over then to your farm, which still hasn't grown anything because it's been two minutes, and do that. So yeah, definitely kind of my recommendation to what you should be focusing on first. But my huge recommendation is don't do what I'm doing. Don't don't have a solo island. Solo islands are not really the best interest. Cosmic is made to be a community-driven event and competitive game mode. Uh, so yeah, definitely. But guys, I think this is pretty well all I can do for the next so long. Like I don't, if we look at my challenges again, um, I don't think there's much I can be doing right now other than, you know, working on these resource wood fragments. Okay. Uh, harvesting wheat. Yeah. Uh, selling bread, fishing trout. I could make a fishing, a little fishing pond. That is true. Um, cobblestone. Like I'm not even close to that. Uh, so yeah, we got a little ways to go before we can actually start getting into that. So I think that's going to be where we call it for today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what you think about this new kind of way of me, you know, streaming everything while recording at the same time. If you like it, if you don't like it, you know, I can always go back to the other way of doing stuff where it's just all different. But again, don't forget, like I said in the beginning of the video, we are doing a giveaway on the YouTube channel for the start of the new map. Uh, just for one loot box, all you have to do is comment down below hashtag team red or hashtag team blue for whatever team you're on, as well as put your IGN in there. So if you do win, I know who to give it to. But guys, that's going to be it for today. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not, and turn on notifications so you know when I post new videos. As well, if you're picking up anything off the service store, remember to use code whiskey at checkout. But until next time, I'll see you when I see you. Bye, guys.